This video tutorial is on how to make slinkies for steelhead and salmon drift fishing. You're going to need a couple things to make these on your own at home. And uh, it's pretty simple actually. You need a pair of pliers, a lighter, some parachute cord um, to match the size of the slinky shot that you're going to be using. You need the slinky shot or split shots if you use those and uh, that's about it so it's pretty simple uh, I like using the bigger size because you can uh, use six or seven split shot like this for a bigger river or you can go down to a single one like this on smaller clear rivers so first we're going to start out cut a small three inch piece of parachute cord off and uh, you're going to use your lighter and light one end get it to melt down a little bit grab your pliers crimp it down like that and once you do that you open up the other end like so and start feeding the split shot down the parachute cord like so until you have as many in there as you need for the drift that you're going to be fishing. So this one's got five. I'm going to use the scissors now to cut off the frayed end. And now I'm going to take lighter once again and melt the side that's still open. Grab the pliers, crimp down the other end, and there you have it. Very simple to make slinkies. When I first started steelhead salmon fishing, I always wondered how people made slinkies. Um, wish I knew it was this simple at first. I would have been doing it a long time ago. I'm going to do one more example. Cut off. Oh, this is about an inch and a half. I'll zoom in so you can see a little better. I melt the one side, crimp it down. It uh, hardens very quick, so it only takes a second. Open up the other end. They actually make tools that you can buy that open up the parachute cord and help slide the split shot down there, but this is easy enough as it is. No need to spend more money. Two. Three. Okay, I can fit one more. Four. Alright, now I'm not going to cut off the extra. I'm just going to melt it down here. Use the pliers. Crimp it down like so. And there we've got another slinky. only takes 10 or 15 seconds to make one and uh, then you can use your swivels, snap swivels, barrel swivels and uh, as long as you make them somewhat flexible it'll be real easy to slide your swivel right through the top of this. You don't have to poke any holes in it you just slide it through there like this 
and you're ready to fish. And when you go to the next hole, it's a little deeper or more shallow. Only takes a couple seconds to throw on another slinky. The reason I started using slinkies is uh, I was fishing a small coastal river where I could see spot steelhead and I was using regular lead bouncing it through the hole and I noticed that the fish were getting really spooked when uh, they would hear the lead bouncing down through and they probably got used to hearing that a lot and kind of turned them off so I noticed when I switched over to slinkies that uh, it wasn't spooking them as badly so um, I think with the soft coating over the, the split shot it uh, kind of deadens the sound it'll be a little bit of a different feel uh, if you're used to fishing with lead off the bottom uh, when you first start using these but I've noticed I haven't lost nearly as much gear off the bottom when using slinkies compared to the lead so I think overall it, it's a better way to drift fish for steelhead and salmon uh, that's pretty much it good luck out there